Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing great. I'm personally doing fantastic because uh, winter is finally over. <laughs> I was extremely tired of those short, dark and cold days of winter. But spring is finally here and I really feel like a new woman. <laughs> but anyway, um, today I don't want to talk to you about the weather. I want to talk to you about this babe, which is a 35 millimeters Canon AF. Uh, this is a point and shoot camera, uh, which I bought, I think, uh, two years ago, more or less. And this was actually the first camera I bought when I decided to dive into the world of film photography. And I used this camera uh, very consistently for about four or six years. But I quickly realized that uh, this was not uh, the camera for me at least in that period of time because I wanted to have full control of the whole parameters of the camera and of course I couldn't do that with a point and shoot so when I got my Mamiya and then my Nikon FM I forgot completely about this babe um, and actually I haven't used it in about a year so um, these last two weeks I've been thinking that I should sell it and put it on eBay um, but today morning <laughs> I grabbed it uh, and I look at her and I thought well it's it has a beautiful design it's also super easy to hold so maybe I should give it a second try and um, so uh, this is why I'm doing this video because I think tomorrow or the day after tomorrow um, we are going out together and we are going to try this camera again and see uh, how I feel about it how I feel about it because um, I really believe that it can be very refreshing to try a point and shoot uh, every now and then so I'm going to do that and for this I'm going to use uh, this stock which is a uh, pan 400 uh, this is black and white and this is the first time that i'm going to use this stock uh, ever and also the very first time that i'm going to use black and white film uh, in this camera so i really thought uh, it could be very fun so see you uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow uh, we are going out and we are going to shoot this babe and maybe I get to decide whether I sell it or not. I think I'm going to, um, I mean, I think I'm going to decide that this month. I, I don't believe I'm going to decide whether I sell it or not in this video, but I'm going to give myself uh, a one month period in order to decide whether I sell it or not. Okay, all right, so see you uh, tomorrow.
um, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit sleepy, so I'm sorry if my English is rough today. Um, so I have decided that um, I'm going to shoot uh, one third of the roll now and I'm going to leave the last images to test the flash because I really wanted to see how it works and how it looks. Um, yesterday it was really fun to um, use this point and shoot and I had a really nice time. Uh, it's kind of... Uh, I don't know, it, it feels so easy. <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, I realized that it makes me uh, less conscious about what I'm shooting, of course. Um, but it feels nice. I I'm just going with the flow. Um, so I hope the images look alright and I have something nice to show you. <laughs> well, anyway, um, let's shoot some images and see you uh, later. Well, and as final thoughts, I have to say that the whole experience was super fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, it was refreshing and dynamic. So yeah, it was great. I think that the only part that um, made me a little bit uh, nervous was the fact that I was not super conscious about what I was doing. But afterwards, when I saw the results, I realized that Still, unconsciously, I was making decisions that made sense to me. So that was great to see and I actually think that it was the most interesting part of the whole exercise and to realize that these uh, whole uh, months of practice are actually giving me results. So that, that, that's amazing. <laughs> um, also regarding the flash, um, my initial plan was that I was going to take one third part of the roll uh, with flash but when I was at the beach I realized that uh, it wasn't working so um, I left two images for later and when I arrived home I decided to change the batteries and the flash worked but as I only had two images left that's all I had the opportunity to try and those are the images you saw. Um, I wish I had uh, taken more, 
but still it was a great experience and that's the thing with point and shoots I, I, I just couldn't stop shooting uh, even though I wanted to save more images for later uh, to use uh, with the flash I just didn't because I was having so much fun <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, regarding uh, the camera, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to sell it or not. Um, I think that I'm going to Google a little bit more about point and shoots and see if maybe other model uh, makes more sense to me, maybe a more modern uh, camera or something like that. Um, so please. If you have a favorite uh, point and shoot, let me know in the comments. So that could be very useful for me. Uh, I can Google and see if that model makes sense to me or not. <laughs> but as I told you, I think uh, I'm going to make the decision uh, in the end of the month or maybe at the beginning of next month. Um, that's not super urgent for me. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I really I hope you enjoyed the video and it was interesting or useful for you and see you in the next video. <laughs> bye bye.